Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's lesson, we will be exploring Unit 5 Human Biology. Based on the Ethiopian Grade 10 Biology curriculum, this unit dives into how your body works and how it digests food, pumps blood, uh, raises, remove waste, and defends itself. Let's, let's explore the amazing systems that keep us alive. This unit covers six major topics. Those are digestive system, circulatory and lymphatic system, breathing or respiratory system, excretory system, immune system, and a special spotlight on renowned physicians in Ethiopia. Each system plays a unique role in maintaining the balance and the health of your body. Let's see what you will be learning. By the end of this unit, you should be able to describe how food is digested and absorbed, identify key parts of the, the, the circulatory and the breathing system, understand how waste is excreted from the body, recognize how your immune system protects you, appreciate the contribution of Ethiopian physicians. Let's start with the digestive system, the body's fuel processor. The digestive system breaks down the food we eat into nutrients our body can absorb it, can absorb. And it includes the alimentary canal or uh, a long tube from the mouth to the anus and the accessory organs like the liver, pancreas, and the gallbladder, which, helps, which help with digestion. The goal is simple, break food into small molecules that can enter the bloodstream. Here we have the structure of the digestive system. The alimentary canal includes mouth, esophagus, stomach, small and large intestine, rectum, and anus. The accessory organs support digestion, but food doesn't pass through them. The entire canal is about 6.5 to 9 meters long. Types of digestion. There are two types of digestion. These are mechanical digestion and chemical digestion. Mechanical digestion refers to physically breaking food down, for example, chewing. Chemical digestion using enzymes and acids to break down large molecules into smaller ones. Both types start in the mouth. Digestion in mouth. Digestion begins here. Tea is cut and green food, then uh, this, is, uh, this refers to mechanical digestion. Then saliva from salivary glands contains amylase, an enzyme that begins uh, start digestion, and uh, this refers to the chemical digestion. The food becomes a soft ball called a bolus, ready to travel down the esophagus. The stomach stores food and begins protein digestion. It produces gastric juice containing hydrochloric acid and pepsin. The acidic environment kills harmful microbes and activates enzymes. Fun fact, your stomach cleaning regenerates every few days to protect itself from acid. The small intestine. This is the main site for digestion and absorption. There are three parts. Jordanium, Jejunium, and Ilium. Enzymes from the pancreas and bile from the liver uh, help digest food. Uh, Bile and microvilli increases surface area, allowing nutrients to pass into the blood, and it's about six meters long. So the small intestine is long, long enough. The other one is accessory organs. Let's break it down. Liver produces bile, essential for fat digestion. Gallbladder stores and releases bile. Uh, and pancreas secretes enzymes for all nutrients and bicarbonate to neutralize stomach acid. These organs support the digestive process from outside the food tube. Here we have another topic which refers to circulatory and lymphatic system. Next, the body's transport system. The circulatory system moves blood, oxygen, nutrients, and waste. The lymphatic system returns extra fluid 
to the bloodstream and the defenders, the body against pathogens. Together, they ensure cells get what they need and stay protected. The heart. The heart is a muscular pump with four chambers. The right atrium and the right ventricle, which pumps blood to the lungs, and we have left atrium and left ventricles, which pump oxygen-rich blood to the body. Valve, valves prevent blood from flowing backward, and the heart beats over 100 times a day. Blood circulation. There are two main circulation types. These are pulmonary circulation and systematic circulation. Pulmonary circulation uh, starts from heart then uh, to lungs, lungs to heart. The, whereas systematic uh, circulation starts from heart then to body, then body to heart. This double circulation ensures oxygen rich and oxygen poor blood stay separate and efficient. Blood is made of red blood cells, white blood cells, platelets. Red blood cells carry oxygen using hemoglobin. White blood cells uh, defend against pathogens. Platelets help in blood clotting. There are four major blood types. Blood type A, blood type B, blood type AB, and the blood type O. Plus, we have the RH factors, which can be positive or negative. Donated blood saves lives, especially during surgeries, childbirths, and accidents. Here is a key point. Blood type compatibility is vital. For example, blood type O negative is the universal donor, while blood type AB plus is the universal recipient. Encourage safe and voluntary blood donation. Breathing system, also called the respiratory system, it supplies oxygen for cellular respiration and remove carbon dioxide or a waste product. Without oxygen, cells cannot produce the energy they need. Structure of the breathing system. Air flows through uh, first from nose to pharynx, pharynx to larynx, Larynx to trachea, trachea to bronchi, bronchi to lungs. Here we have two, two terms, inhalation and exhalation. Inhalation, during inhalation, diaphragm contracts and the chest expands, then air, flow, air flows in. And during exhalation, diaphragm relaxes, air flows out. This gas exchange happens in tiny sacs called alveoli. The excretory system. The excretory system removes metabolic wastes. Main parts include kidneys, ureters, bladder, and ureter. Kidneys filter blood and produce urine. Ureter, ureters uh, carry urine to the bladder, then bladder stores urine, and then we have lastly ureter, which releases, which releases urine outside the body. This system keeps blood clean and balanced. The immune system, the immune system. Your immune system defends against infections. Innate immunity and adaptive immunity is the two types of the immune system. Innate immunity, these are the first line of defense, uh, like skin or inflammation. And adaptive immunity learns to recognize and attack specific invaders using B cells and T cells. Vaccines work by training your adaptive immune system. Renowned physicians in Ethiopia, let's honor Ethiopian medical pioneers. Professor Astrat Waldeyes, a renowned surgeon, educator, and advocate for ethics in medicine. Dr. Budari Kdana Maria, Ethiopia's first female medical doctor known for her work in maternal and child health. Their contribution continue to inspire future doctors. Review and key takeaways. Let's summarize what we have learned. 
the digestive system breaks down and absorbs nutrients. The circulatory and the lymphatic systems transport materials and defend the body. The respiratory system exchanges gas. Uh, the excretory system removes waste. The immune system protects us, protect us from disease. Understanding this system helps us care for our health. Now it's your turn. How does a healthy diet affect the digestive system? Why, why is understanding blood type uh, important for donation? How does pollution affect the respiratory system? Share your thoughts in comments or with your classmates. Thanks for learning with me today. The human body is complex, but understanding it empowers us to live healthier, longer lives. Uh, don't forget to review, ask questions, share this video with your classmates to stay curious. This lesson was developed using the Ministry of Education's biology curriculum and the trusted science resources. Always refer to your textbook and um, class notes for more.